trade levels like these to become a better forex trader are you struggling are you trying to catch trades every single day and not really getting anywhere well this video is going to be for you i'm going to show you why trading from highs like this or lows like this can help you become more consistent in the markets let's head over to the charts so you want to know why you're not trading from these points specifically in your trading and the reason is is because we are looking to trade every single opportunity that we see in the market and quite often we just miss those simple entries in the markets now first of all i want to understand why it's best to get in from points like these in the markets and it's really really comes down to the fact that these significant changes in the markets only occur when there are higher sell orders or buy orders in the market okay and what i mean by that is somebody with large funds can only push the market from this point to this point okay now why are they pushing the market from that area in particular well it's because they're probably looking to try and get an advantage on the market by trying to sell at a high point or buy from a low point okay now what i'm going to do is simply look at this daily chart here on pound yen and like i just showed you with those circles on the charts visually where do we want to be a short seller in the market where do we want to be a buyer in the market it's from those highs and lows. So what the most important thing for us is to do is highlight those areas because we can see historically that the market has reacted to those points. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your rectangle tool. You're going to find the highest point and you're going to grab your rectangle and you're going to identify that area you're going to drag it from the wick high down to the bodies or whether you you feel comfortable with that zone okay so down here i'm going to highlight this area down at the low now all i'm saying is we've obviously seen strong buying come in from this area here and we've seen strong selling from here in the past what i want to do is if price comes to that level are we going to see sellers again okay that's the question we need to ask ourselves i'm not saying you get short here you buy there it's not as simple as that i really wish it was but it's not what we need to do is we need to identify patterns around those areas to see if price is rejecting those points and then we need to apply proper risk management in place just in case we're wrong okay now my idea really for pound yen recently you can go see this in other videos that we've talked about is for price to come into this high and to reject and push away and potentially go to another level of support that support could be this high that had previously formed in the market now one easy thing i like to do is go down and use my multiple time frame analysis okay the reason why we dive down into lower time frames once we've hit that level of resistance is to maximize that risk reward ratio so i'm going to go down to the four hour time frame and again i'm going to apply the exact same rules when the daily chart level of resistance has been hit i want to look at how the four hour reacts okay we come into the level we get a very strong bearish push away is that enough to go short absolutely not okay all i know is is that price came up into this area here and we saw lots of sellers coming into the market we created quite a large rejection candle that gives me a clue is to say well sellers got involved around these highs in here if price comes back to it can i then look for another opportunity yes because what i want to see is if the market fails to make new highs is the market then going to start pushing and making new lows but that's what we're always trying to identify we don't want price to continue to make new highs otherwise the market is ignoring this area of resistance i want it to start failing at that point i want buyers to become exhausted and i want sellers to take over so all i do again is drop down another time frame so we've gone into the four hour we can see price form resistance go into the one hour chart now and i'm looking for a specific setup and for me it's the lower low lower close candlestick formation i'm saying this because it's really simple to see in the markets and if i just zoom into this area here we can see we had a bearish engulfing candle which is a lower low lower close candlestick so i can identify that area as a short i can place my stop loss 
us above the high here and if we want to be super super careful we can use ATR stops and things like that or we can come to the high there it says around 74 pips I'll just add a couple uh, or 20 pips onto that if you're not going to use ATR just be super safe and then I'm going to look to target that area from a higher time frame which was all the way down towards this level of support here so you can see it took a while to get to that point but we're trading from that previous high and we're trading from that high because we already witnessed selling pressure coming from that point in the past. If you start thinking about the markets like that, instead of trying to get involved in all the nonsense in and around here, then you can try and get more consistency within your trading. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.